I'm painting these old shed shells with translucent hazel wood paint. Now the thing with translucent wood paint is that you have to treat them differently to the opaques because they behave a lot more like a wood stain. So you can see here the consistency is sort of fairly thick but with the translucents you can apply it with a sprayer ready to use, you don't have to dilute it down but you can do if you like or you can use a brush, good quality synthetic as always or with a roller. Now with a roller you can use a foam sleeve but foam sleeves can quite often leave a bit of a speckled finish on the coating so with wood paints tend to avoid those. Go with a roller with a medium knack sleeve instead. I tend to use one that's about the same size as the section you're working on. So load the roller. Now again with a translucent you really don't want to load it too much. If you overload it it will just come out looking a bit sludgy. Work it evenly into the sleeve and then come here work on the whole sections at a time. So go in nice and smoothly and just working it well into the wood and just making sure that it's nice, thin, even coating and that you work out sort of any patches that you're leaving because if you leave it, it's just going to dry patchy. So you can see it just needs the tiniest amount of paint on there and it really goes a long way. So as I say, spread it out, work it in nicely and just make sure you're creating an even, smooth coating. On this shelf I'm going to be using a paintbrush, so with the translucent wood paints being water-based, good quality synthetic brush works really well. Now, one of the keys with translucents is not to overload your brush. So just a small amount, working small sections at a time. So I'm using a brush that's about the same size as the section, and then just paint on with the grain in nice, even, smooth strokes. So Wayne Perry, the TV carpenter, said that the translucent wood paints are a bit like a tanning lotion. So it helps you to visualise what you're doing with it. So don't overload <laughs> and don't leave big blotches and patches. And it translates really well to the wood. Translucent wood paints actually go a long way. So spread it out nice and thin and evenly. Work it well into this knot. And then you can just go back over, just gently with smooth, even strokes, making sure that there aren't any patches. got this lovely natural finish. So these shelves are done now. They've had one coat of hazel wood paint on them and they're all dry. This one I painted on with a paintbrush. This one with a roller. Personally, I prefer the brush, but I'm a bit old school like that. So these are for the interior of the shed, so one coat is absolutely fine. For exterior use, so you do need to have two coats for full protection. Now, the hazel, as with most of our wood paints, is a high build product. So if you put on a second coat, then you're going to get more colour. It's going to look darker, richer, more intense. So if you like the colour of just the one coat, then you can just paint on our UV clear. That will give you your two coat protection with just the one coat of the hazel.